And we start this Monday with some breaking news out of Columbia. That's where at least 40 people are reported to have died in a mudslide in the northwest of the country. Now, local authorities in Salgar say heavy rains caused a river to bust its banks there, bringing trees and mud crashing down on the town. Now, they tell national radio that it was an immense tragedy and the number of people killed is likely to be much higher. Now, this, of course, is a developing story. We will continue to bring you the latest as we get it. And we stay in Colombia. In a historic agreement, delegations from the Colombian government, FARC rebels, and ELN guerrillas have announced a roadmap to begin demining the country's, the nation's countryside. Now, the pilot plan for to begin the demining process will reportedly begin in the regions of Antioquia in the northeast and Meta in the central region. Now, while the process is being carried out in line with international standards, it's important to point out here that Colombia is one of the countries that has the most victims of landmines in the world. According to the nation's presidential plan against landmines, between 1999 and 2015, a total of 11,043 people have fallen victim to explosions. Those included women and children. The issue has turned the fear of being affected by landmine and other unexploded arms into a daily reality for many of the region's campesinos. And it is estimated that more than half of Colombia's municipalities contain minefields.